Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us. And we are <gasps> making a really fun bunny rabbit. So I want you to grab out your supplies so you can paint with us today. We are doing some fun acrylic paint. So if you have that, grab some out. I'm gonna be using a white, red, yellow, blue, and a really pretty gold. Ooh. So, then we always have a cup of water. We have brushes. You can grab any ones that you like. I'm gonna use this wider one so that we can paint our background. And then I'm gonna use this round one to paint my bunny. Then your palette, and it will be handy to have a paper towel. Then to start, we like to do our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Oh, and I need to introduce you to our cameraman. You might know him already. This is... Keenan. <laughs> Hello. So he'll be painting with us today. Now we are ready to do this. Okay. So when we are painting, we are going to start with the background. So you have this really cool color background. So I'm gonna use my wider brush, like I said. And you know, whenever we paint here together, you get to pick any color. So if you want to make it red, you can do that. If you wanna make it yellow, you can do that as well. I'm going to paint it this bright blue. I thought my eye kind of saw the sky. Mm -hmm. like maybe the sky was behind us. So but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix and I wanna show you is if you have these colors with us, Open up your blue, and I'm gonna open up my white. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this light blue or a sky blue. Mm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna scoop up my blue and put it on my palette. And then I'm gonna wash off my paint so whenever we switch colors here, we always clean our brush. And that's why I like to have a paper towel because do you see how I just kind of sweep it? And then I'm gonna pick up some white. Do you know what I think of when I think of sky blue? What do you think of? Sailboats. Oh. I don't know why. Huh. They, do you see them as being blue or do you see the sky behind it? I see the blue. sky behind them. Mm -hmm. Sailboats are so cool. They are really cool. I agree. Do you think rabbits Maybe can ride on sailboats? Yeah, why not? Why would they not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to paint. Now, I realize I used this round brush, so I wanna show you, you can use any brush. I think I might use both of them. Ooh, I like that texture. Ooh, yeah, maybe we can leave some texture. Ooh, wait, what's texture? So texture is when, do you see how we see all these kind of grooves and lines? It's not a solid, whereas this is a solid paint. And these have these cool texture. Ah. So I'm gonna switch brushes. And if you want, you can add, maybe you dip it in your water. This is different than watercolor if you're used to watercolor where you don't need a lot of water, but maybe you have a little bit. So I'm gonna keep sweeping. And what I'm thinking is that our paper is gonna be a little artsy. That's what we, I feel like today. Okay, I like artsy. So do you see how, I'm gonna get more water. I do need it, so this, I want to thin it out a little bit. That might help us. So I'm going to leave some of the edges because do you see how on this one, how it has some texture? Yeah, on the edge. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're going to be artists and just decide to do that because you know what? You get to decide what your painting looks like. It's your painting. It's your world. It's your world. It's your sky wall. Yeah. Yeah, we're painting a sky wall. So maybe I'll leave some texture like that there. So we're just painting lines. Yeah, should I leave that? I like that, that's okay. sweet. I'm gonna leave it. And we're gonna kind of paint a little bit over it anyway, so either way works. So again, I'm gonna sweep the bottom of my cup to get to the paint off, because this paint's really thick, so it might stay a little bit more on your paintbrush if you don't clean it off. Do you know what's great? What? You painted both of these, correct? Yes they're already a little bit different from one another. Yes, and thank you for saying that. And that's super fun, yeah. Yes, because your painting is gonna look different than ours as well. Okay, now, 
I want to make sure that dries. It should be, it dries, this paint dries pretty quickly. So we are going to paint a bunny rabbit. Now, move this over. I like to have my paint close to me because if I kind of move over, then maybe it'll smear a little bit. So bring your paint closer to you and we're going to use white. So if yours isn't dry, I want you to pause and then let it dry. But I think we're a little bit good. If my bunny rabbit is kind of a light blue, maybe it has a little tint to it. Yeah. So we're going to use white. So I'm going to dip in. Maybe he was painting. And he rolled it around in the paint. Yes. <laughs> That's a great. Okay, so to paint your bunny rabbit, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle for his head. Now, can you see how, because I have my ears, I'm going to paint my circle kind of in the middle. Because if we were to paint our circle up here, then the bunny ears would be really small. So I want my ears, I imagine my bunny rabbit to have really, really long ears. So I'm going to draw my face more kind of around here. So kind of in the middle towards the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle. Now, if your circle turned into an oval, cool. You're going to have an oval shaped, we all have different shape, shaped faces actually. If you look at other people, mine might be a little bit more oval, maybe yours is more circular. So everyone's is different, just like this bunny. So I want you to paint your circle and then you're gonna paint it in. What shape is my face? It's kind of oval too, I think. Ovalish? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Does mine look oval? Yes. I have to think about that. Now I'm curious, maybe you should go and stand up next to someone in your, who's next to you and just look. That's how, actually that's the cool thing about art is you're using your power and your eyes to see what shape is that. That's true. Right? I'm excited now. <laughs> okay, so speaking of the power of shapes, so when you see bunny rabbits, their ears, some of them might be flopping down, some of them might be up depending on what they're thinking or doing. So I envision mine with the ears up. So for her ears, you can think of them as, actually this shape kind of is different, a couple different things. My brain thinks of curves or really big almonds. Oh. I'm curious what you see now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw the left ear. So if I have my, sh my circle face, I'm gonna come over here to the left side and I'm gonna start and I'm gonna draw a curve like that. So if it helps you, you can kind of turn your paper. This is what Keenan likes to do and you mm -hmm. draw a smiley face. So you can do that. Yes. That is, I do like to do that. So I have that, then I'm gonna connect here and then come because our ears are attached, or the bunny's ears are attached to the face. So you're gonna draw another curve like that. So then you can fill it in. Then we're gonna do one more. So maybe try this if this helps. Draw a dot somewhere where you want the top. Do you see how we have the top of our ear here? Maybe draw a dot, and then you draw a curve from oh, there. Oh, that's a good idea. That might help you as well. So I think, I just wanna show you that ears are all different sizes. So maybe this ear is a little bit skinnier. So the shapes I see are kind of like Easter eggs, oh. or just eggs that you're gonna paint. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's what I see. Or chocolates, mini Cadbury eggs, I see those. Oh, those, those are so delightful. <laughs> so looking at mine, I think now that I see this, I wanna thicken this one just a little bit. So I wanna show you that these ears are a little bit bigger than these skinnier ones. So I'm excited to see what, your, what shape your ears are. So we filled in our ears. Now, next step is our body. So this actually, this kind of reminds me of a school portrait of a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't see the, the full body of our, of our bunny, so we're kind of using our imagination. So we're going to envision the body right here. So what you can do is you can draw another circle or think of it as an oval, the top part. So I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna connect it because the body connects to the head. 
you're gonna paint that in. So what's cool is that because we have white here, we're just gonna kind of paint over it. And our bunny has some texture too. So maybe I didn't have any water on my brush, so that's why when the paint dries, it kind of makes this cool texture. You like that, Keenan? I do like that. The texture is one of my favorite parts. Okay, I'm gonna leave that then. So my bunny has some cool texture to it. Because it also ties in with the background a little, a little uh, fairly well as, as well. Fairly yeah. well as well. <laughs> yes, I agree. Cool. Okay, there's our bunny. Now we are going to paint the inside of the ears, which are this kind of pinkish color. So we don't have pink, but guess what? We get to make pink. So to do that is I'm gonna grab my palette. Let me spin my palette around. Since I already have white on my brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop out, we don't need a lot because this is a really small area. So I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of white. And then I need to grab a different color. So I'm gonna sweep and clean my brush. Let's wipe it off with our paper towel. Then to make pink, you are going to use red. I wanna show you a trick is this is a really pretty dark red, but guess what? If I just get a little bit on here and I mix it into my white, oh, then you just made pink. So. Beautiful. Now. It looks like frosting. Oh, it does. Oh, cake sounds so good right now. <laughs> cake does. <sound> good. <laughs> <laughs> that made me think of that. Okay, now, so I have this really pretty pink. Here's what I want to show you one other trick is if I'm going to clean my brush again because this is how you're an artist. What if you decide, I want really, really light pink? So, what you do is adding white to any color makes it lighter. So, we started with red and then we went to kind of pink. And now I'm going to make this really, really light pink just to show you what we can do together. So, I have white and I'm going to mix it in. So, can you see the palette? Yes. You see how we made a whole other color? Unbelievable. Magic. So you get to choose. Do you like the light pink? Do you like the medium pink? Maybe we'll do a mixture of both. So we're going to paint the inside of the ears. So what that is, is again, it's just a smaller, whatever shape you see. So it's these two curves. So I'm gonna help myself and I'm gonna draw a dot right there. And then I'm gonna draw a curve. And then a curve. Oh, it's an eyeball. Oh, or I saw an totally, eyeball that time. Yeah, totally. And then or lips. we're going to paint it in. Oh, yes. Or Especially a leaf. Mmm. Good imagination. Maybe I'll add in some darker parts. I'm just going to paint it in. So the inside of the ears have a little bit of white fur on the outside. So that's why I didn't paint the whole part. I didn't come all the way to the top. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to draw a dot and then curve. What uh, what year school is this bunny taking his picture for? Oh, I want to say second grade. Second grade, I agree. I was yeah? gonna say third, but I'll go okay. with second. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Around there. Yes. What grade are you in? Well, I am not currently in a grade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> what grade are you in watching, or what are you learning in school right now? Please tell us. We want to know so we can learn with you. So we have our ears. Now, when you have a school picture, you might wear a bow tie or maybe you might have a uh, ribbon on your hair. Or pajamas. <laughs> There's going to be a pajama, pajama bow tie? Yeah. Okay. We're going to roll with it. So we have, on this one, I drew the bow tie right here. I wanted to show you that if you have our step sheet, you can also draw the bow tie on the right ear, or actually either ear, or you can draw it in the center. So maybe it's like a headband that the bunny's wearing and the bow's right there. So you get to pick where your bow tie goes. What if you gave the bunny hair? <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like he's wearing a wig? 
Sure. A wig or maybe he's, you know, a rocker and he likes to have a mohawk, you know? Classy. Or she. Yes. She can have a rocker mohawk. <laughs> yes. Now, as I'm thinking of that, I want to show you how you can make orange because I realized I hadn't done that yet. So here's the magic of we have the three primary colors. The primary colors are colors that you can mix to make any different colors. So we have the three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Now, we want to make orange. So to make orange, the two primary colors that you're going to use are red. And again, I don't need a lot because our bunny or our bow is pretty small. Is I'm gonna put some red on my palette and then I'm gonna sweep my bottom of my floor to change colors. I'm gonna open my yellow up. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that because red and yellow make orange. So now we have our orange. Now, if you want to make, maybe you have some pink left over, maybe your bow ties pink. If you want to make green, green is yellow and blue put together. Yes. So they can do that. Which would be a pretty leaf. A pretty what? Leaf. A leaf? A green leaf. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes a green leaf. So if you want to make green, you, want, you can do that. And if you want to make purple, you would mix red and blue together. So you have all different colors that you can paint your bow. Now, when you are ready and you have your color on your brush, what you're gonna do is decide where you want your bow to be. I'm going to draw mine in the center just to show you how I did the other one. So I'm gonna draw a circle. So I'm drawing a little circle and maybe you color it in. So this is the center of the bow tie. Then, you know what? This bow tie is gonna be multicolored. Because I just feel like it. Yeah, why would you not have a multicolored bow tie? Why not? Because I was showing you, I'm gonna show you. It either you. needs to be pink bow tie or multicolored. <laughs> We're going multicolored here. Perfect. Because I want to just show you how what I was saying earlier is, I'm gonna mix yellow and blue, just a little bit. There's our green. That is a good green. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna make the left side of my bow. It's like a spinach green. A mm. steamed spinach green. Ooh, spinach is good. Oh, and they're rabbits. And they're rabbits. Oh, it's like a carrot. That which... makes so much sense. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll do that. I'll leave that on both of them. Is we have other fun paintings. If you have these paints with us, you can go and watch the other videos as well. Or maybe you've done it already. But, so to draw the sides of our bow, what you're going to do is you're gonna draw two triangles that touch your circle. So triangles have three sides. So what I'm thinking that might help, what's, let's do this. Let's draw a straight line, so a vertical line going up and down that's a little bit to the left of our circle. Then let's imagine a point right there. Can you see that? Yes. Then we're going to connect our line to our dot and make three sides. So can you see that? Yeah. One, two, three. There's nice. our triangle. Triangle check. Boom. So let's fill that in. I love that it does look like a... It does look like a carrot. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other side. So again, on this side, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line and then I'm gonna draw a dot that touches my circle. And then I'm gonna draw another line connecting and another line connecting. So now we have our triangle. Nice. Boom. Look at that. What a fun, a fun one. Okay, now we need to give our bunny a smile. So I am done for now with my paint so i'm going to close up my colors that i have just so in case because sometimes i don't want to spill them so we're going to close up our paints and we're going to use gold for our face so i'm going to open up my gold 
And when you are looking at your bunny, so bunnies have noses, and we're gonna start with our nose. Now, I'm gonna pick up some gold. Guess what, you learned how to draw a triangle. Let's draw one more in the middle for a nose. So I'm going to draw it, let's see, you can decide how, where does your nose go? If you look at your face, where is your nose? It's kind of in the middle, right? So technically I was told recently mm -hmm. that eyes are in the middle of your entire head. That is actually a good point. It is an illusion it because is. of how big our, illusion is it, it kind of tricks our eyes. Yeah. So how big our forehead is. So, yes, fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. So your nose is about somewhere in the middle. Yeah, if you focus on the face, it's in the middle. Yes, if we're looking at our face. So it's interesting when you think about our bunnies, I'm curious. They might be a little bit lower. Now I think about it, because when you think of a bunny, I imagine the Right? Aren't the features kind of lower? They're lower and they're a little bit longer face. Yeah. So maybe if you have, if you can ask your grown-up to say, hey, do you have a picture of a bunny? Maybe you look at that. All bunnies might be different too, but we are making our own. So you get to decide where your bunny is or where your nose is. So, oh, actually I made mine kind of lower. Ooh, so you could also decide where your bunny is. You could do a green background and say he's in the jungle. Oh. That is fun. You can add some green leaves. Yes. If you still have green, maybe you add some green leaves. Oh, he's behind in it. foliage. Maybe he's yeah. snacking at school. <laughs> Bet you do that. Did that. Yeah, well. Would have done that. <laughs> okay, so to draw a triangle is you're going to draw, this time I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So here's one thing. Guess what? Triangles can can move. So do you see how these triangles look like, actually they look like they're pointing in and in. This triangle, we're gonna look like it's pointing down, meaning that we have our line here, so I drew a line, and then I'm gonna draw my dot right here, and I'm gonna connect them. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. They're all pointing at that center circle. Yes, ooh. The trifecta, the triangle trifecta. <laughs> okay. So now we have that. Now, our bunny is smiley. So we're gonna give him a smile. So to do that, we are going to draw two smiley faces. When you look at a bunny, I'm trying to think the way that they look. It's, they have a smile, but then the part of their, their features come like that, right? Yep. So that's why we're drawing that. And again, we're kind of using our imagination. This is what you do when you paint. You think, okay, I think it looks like that, so I'm gonna paint it like this. That's what, my, that's what we see. So we're gonna draw a smiley face like that and that part of the face. Now, we, let's draw, let's draw some eyes. Are your eyes open? Are they smiley? Are they winking? <laughs> Maybe in your picture you were winking. Ooh, that'd be fun. You want me to do that? Yeah, do a winking. Bunny. Okay, so when you wink, one eye is closed. Can't wink very well. Keenan, can you do it? Yeah, actually show me. Okay, wink. So one eye is closed, so when you're winking, I'm gonna draw this one, kind of was like that. And then the other one, he has his eye open. So it's a circle like that. Do we color it in? We'll color it in. Color it in. Ooh, then you could put maybe a blue or red dot for his eyes. Oh, good inside idea. Inside the gold. He seems very wise to me right now. Because he's missing an eye. <laughs> what? He's winking. <gasps> Give him an eye patch. That's next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now. Then he'll be really wise. <laughs> We have all of bunny, um, I'm, the bunnies that I'm picturing in my head have whiskers. So once you draw your eyes, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll dry the eyeball. Okay, Okay. deal. So our bunnies have whiskers. So whiskers come from about here on their faces and then they come out. So that's what we're gonna draw, is we're gonna start a, close to the nose and actually, I'm thinking it might help me. I'm gonna rotate mine so that I don't smear. And I'm gonna draw lines coming out 
from my face or from my nose. And do you see how I drew them in all different directions? So they were kind of coming out. So if you think of it, like if you see rays of sun, they come out like that. Or if you're looking at a clock, move, the lines come in different directions. So that's what we're doing. We're drawing our lines in different directions. The other thing I wanted you to see is, did you notice how I didn't follow the circle of my face? Mm. So, because the whiskers are on the, on the front of the face, so they will, if they're really long, which maybe we have really long whiskers, mm -hmm. they're gonna go up over my face. So that's why you'll see my face. Think of it like this, actually. Okay. Does that done. help? Does that, that does help, help visualize? <laughs> yes. You can still see my face. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Okay, so let me do the other side. Oh, it looks so cool. So I'm gonna draw some lines in different directions. His name is Odin. Odin? That's a cool name. Thank you. I've never heard that before. Okay, now we are, I wanna switch colors. See so what color is his eyes, are his eyes? Hmm. What color goes really well with gold? Any color. Hmm. Does he have blue eyes? I feel like a blue eye would be, maybe be cool. What were you thinking? I was thinking like a black, but you'd have to mix all the colors together, I think. You want to try and make black? Yeah. Okay, let's just see if we can do this. So to make black is you kind of mix, what happens if we mix all the colors we have since we're done? Oh, that made like a caramel brown. That is nice. That's a good color. Okay, should I just go with this? Yes. Is it too close to gold, or will it pop enough? Let's try. Okay, let's try. This is how we do it. We just try things. I'm trying to think, can you open your eyes for me? Okay, so I'm going to draw a circle. My in, eyes my inside. eyes weren't closed, just to be open. clear. Huh? My eyes were open already. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I drew a circle inside of my eyeball. Yeah, that looks cool. Can you see it? Yes. Then what I'm thinking is when you are looking at something and the light is shining on me, so if, as if this was our school picture we were taking, the light is shining, you'll see what's called a reflection. Mm -hmm. So the light is shining and there's a little probably dot that you can see. I know it's probably hard to see on my face right now, but it's a reflection that's bouncing off. So because we have white, we're gonna do that. So I wanted to clean my brush and I'm gonna dip in, just want a little bit of white, just on the very tip of my brush, and I'm gonna add a little reflection. There we go. Nice. You can see, he's, he look, Odin, Odin? Odin. Odin, sweet. Odin is a boss. Now, if, this is, this is so much fun, is you are being creative, and so if your bow tie, if you want to jazz up your bow tie, maybe it has polka dots like this one, or maybe it has lines, or maybe you leave it like that, because it really does look like a carrot. Do you want to paint on your background? I think I'm good, for, I, I really like what we did here today. So I think I'm good, but I want you to know that you are creative and you can do anything you want with this. So. That was fun. That was fun. That was really fun. Now, we want to see what you make. So, and also tell, tell us what the name of your bunny rabbit is. Yes. So, we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Please share a photo of you and your project with us. And we will see you next time to paint. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and creative.